Email is the center of my world, and it probably is for you too, which is why I was very excited when Mailbox was released for the iPhone. Hey guys, it's Brandon Miniman from PocketNow.com. I've been using Mailbox for about a week now, and I want to let you know how it's changed the way I use email on my phone. In this video, I'm going to review it, so let's get to it. And while this is iPhone only right now, and you can run it on your iPad, of course, the company plans on releasing multiple apps for all different kinds of platforms, including Android and desktop in the future, which this desperately needs. So number one, Mailbox is just a great email app. It's extremely fast. Everything is cached. The application opens quickly. And when you get your conversation view open like this, it's kind of arranged like an SMS conversation. You can tap on the different parts of the conversation to see them. It's just super fast, super fluid. It's got this kind of white minimalist design to it and it just looks really good but that's not where the magic is the magic is that mailbox treats your inbox as a task list which makes a lot of sense so if you use this app you're gonna to want to start off by archiving all of your messages so you only have new messages show up in your inbox and then here's where the magic comes in you decide how you want to action on each thing there are four different things you could do so for example I've got this email with Jaime right now and I'm done with it so I'm gonna slide it to the right which means it's going to be archived and thus it's going to show up over here in my archive list but I can do other things for example let's say I want to be reminded about this Mumford and Sons email later this is really the most important part I slide over until it becomes yellow then I get this pop-up that says, when do you want to be reminded of this message? And what's going to happen if I choose tomorrow? It will literally leave my inbox on my phone here and all of my other devices, and then it will be pushed back into my inbox and go to the top of my inbox when I set the time for. So it's set for tomorrow, and the way the, the app works is that you can actually configure uh, when these things come back. So for example, if you go to snoozes, I've got start my day at 8 a.m. So so tomorrow at 8 a.m., that email will go back into my inbox. Really brilliant idea, great way to sort of arbitrage your email. Uh, another thing you can do, there are two other actions. You can slide all the way to the left, and you can apply a label. And you can set up these labels in Gmail, just a super fast way uh, to apply labels. And one other thing you can do, if you slide to the, to the right and then all the way to the right, it will permanently delete the message or put it into your trash in your Gmail. So what you get here is you're always arbitraging your email. You're deciding, what should I do with this message? What should I do with this message? And so that the, the goal at the end of the day is to have inbox zero. So all of your tasks are complete or they're deferred until the future. In fact, if you go if you go over to mailbox here and you click on the deferred column here, this shows you uh, the, the emails that are going to pop up in your inbox in the future. So what do I think about Mailbox? I really like it and I'm going to stick with it. I like that it's super minimal, super fast. I like it better than the Gmail app or the stock iOS app. And I can't wait for it to come to other platforms. I also like this idea of treating your inbox like a to-do list. Uh, you probably do it anyway and I do it. But with Mailbox, it takes, us, takes it to the next level to allow you to defer messages to a future date. So you're constantly striving for inbox zero where all of your different items in your task lists essentially are taken care of. Now the biggest downside to Mailbox is that number one you have to wait in line. Uh, right now you have to wait in about a 800,000 person line which might be a few weeks as they work out uh, server issues uh, to make sure that it's a smooth experience. And number two, it's not available for any other platform, which is a huge shame. For example, I use Mailbox on my iPhone and then I use Gmail on my desktop behind me here. And while it works with Gmail so that the messages do show up in my inbox later, I cannot defer a message from my Gmail uh, so that it shows up some other time. You can only do it from the phone. So it's this kind of weird experience, but I'm sure in the near future, Mailbox will be available uh, on multiple platforms, so that will not be a problem. Anyway, it's always cool to see innovations in things that we use a lot, and Mailbox is certainly one of them. So you should give it a try if you have an iPhone or an iPad, or wait until the Android version comes out, and hopefully a Windows Phone version will not be too far behind. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up, and if you want to see more great videos from PocketNow, please subscribe, and you'll find out when they hit the channel first. Thanks for watching, and that's it for now.